Hey everyone, welcome back to A Beautiful Mess. This is part two of this home. This is the home that had the carpet beetles and pantry moths. And uh, this is me cleaning again to help reunite this family so they can live back in their home. Uh, this is the living room. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in plastic bags. That's how the homeowner has been trying to protect items from being eaten by the bugs. So this is me carrying out all those blue bags that you see all over this house. And I'm just trying to clear everything out so that I can shampoo the carpets, try to get rid of some of the carpet beetles. And honestly, the whole time that I worked at this house, I never even saw a carpet beetle but the homeowner showed me a few they're very small and I don't know I mean I'm sure she probably notices them more because she's been around them a lot longer but uh, I'm just not that freaked out by bugs I mean spiders yes but not really bugs so um, it brings her a lot of anxiety, but I was fine with it. Um, and again, I never really saw anything. I wanted to get this all cleaned off so that I had a clean place to fold this laundry. While I cleaned this house, I probably, between all the times that I've been there, have done maybe 20 loads of laundry. <laughs> so, which is fine with me because I love laundry. I love folding laundry. I love the smell of clean laundry. It just, is so satisfying to me to see a pile of clean folded laundry. So I hope it brings some of you guys a little satisfaction too. So here I'm just trying to organize this stuff as best I could into categories and I'm just moving it into the kitchen, which as you remember, I cleaned on the last video. Uh, so this is gonna be stuff that uh, she'll have to go through later. But again, just trying to clear this out so I can clean the carpets. Here's more laundry. I promise I don't show you every load of laundry I do, but I just wanted to show you the amount of laundry I had to do. I kept throwing in a load and then when it was done, I'd get it folded and go back to work until another load was ready. And now finally everything's cleared out so I can clean these carpets. Wait till you see this dirty water that comes out of these carpets. I 
Now for a little bathroom cleaning. This is just the downstairs guest bathroom, which really doesn't look too bad until you see this wall. So here comes that wall I was telling you about. Pretty gross. And that floor was pretty sticky. I'm not even sure what that was on the floor, but you'll see me scraping up a lot of stuff from the floor. Hi there. So check that out. A gummy worm. <laughs> Somebody want to eat that? Yummy. Oh, and I'm sorry if you see the camera going in and out of focus. I totally forgot to take off the autofocus on the phone that I was using to record. So I've learned since how to do that. Please ignore my crazy face and my crazy hair coming up here. I was sweating like crazy by the end of this bathroom cleaning. Turned out pretty nice though. I have never tried this barkeeper's friend, so I wanted to try it on this rusty scale. And it actually came out pretty good. Here's that toilet I was so excited to clean. Check that out. Beautiful. Has anyone ever used Easy Off on their shower or bathtub? It works pretty well. Uh, this bottle of Easy Off for some reason though wasn't spraying so well, so it did okay though. I was starting to get sick though with all the fumes. I should have put on my mask that I had. But I forgot about it until after the fact, of course.
sorry you have to see so much of my butt in these shots. I didn't know how to place the camera where my behind wasn't to it. decided that taking the seat off and soaking it in some bleach water in the bathtub was going to be the best way to clean it. And it turned out pretty good. that I came back to clean this house. I mean, it was actually more days than that, but just in this video. So the living room was one day and the downstairs bathroom all one day. And then I did the toilet and the bathtub in this bathroom on another day. And then this one you're watching right now was actually just yesterday. <laughs> it was about three weeks apart. I cleaned a couple houses in between. Okay, do you guys do your toilet paper roll under or over? The correct answer is over. The rest of you are just wrong. That's okay, because I'm sure there's still some lovable things about you. Okay, based on the amount of baby items you see here, how many children does she have and what are their ages? She actually only has one and he's almost a teenager. <laughs> so I think some of that is old and will probably be thrown away, but that's okay. I had fun organizing it anyway. I can't even tell you how many times I knocked that handle off. <laughs> the same thing was happening in the downstairs bathroom, so I don't know what it is with the cold handle. They just didn't like to stay on. Okay, this here is lipstick on the mirror and it was because of an elf on the shelf who was being naughty and I can't even remember how many years it's been up there but I thought I'm gonna try some makeup wipes to try to get this off because I know lipsticks kind of tough thing to get off a mirror 
and it worked pretty well. Okay, be glad that there is no sound here because I think I hit this door stop like a thousand times. So I was trying to clean this wall. So annoying. So this is Mr. Clean's version of a magic eraser. I thought I'd try it on this dirty door. And it worked okay. It wasn't my favorite, I'd have to say, because it's kind of stiff, but it was all right. What is it about suds that just makes everything feel so much cleaner? I like that fish in Finding Nemo that likes bubbles. They just make me happy. There was a layer of gunk on this floor, so I used a mildly abrasive cleaner. It's like a Myers cleaner, kind of like a baking soda, but it had like a lavender scent. Smells really good. But anyway, I had to scrub it pretty well and then I had to rinse it about three times and clean out the grout because it kept getting stuck in the grout. Okay, for real this time, this is the after. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I think my next video is gonna be a different house and then I'm gonna come back to this one and finish up the son's room. Uh, that's actually gonna be a pretty fun one. You guys should stay tuned for that. So um, that'll probably be in two weeks, but I will do one house in between just to change things up a bit. So thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next video.